Hello and welcome to the back three. Today we're going to talk to you for five minutes about football, of course, the Champions League back this week, so that's going to be a topic. First though, let's go through the jerseys. Dave, what are you sporting today? Uh, River Club. And you know what, I have fallen victim to advertising once again because this is the first Facebook targeted ad that I've fallen for in a long time. Before it was Instagram, now it's Facebook. Yeah. Um, the lower it's, it's just, it's the colours. Yeah. It really is. So Rib Club, uh, Buenos Aires. Yeah. In Argentina, yeah. I have never seen them play, but I love their jerseys. Do you know, uh, a fellow Chilean called Salas used to play for them, and I had him on the back of a jersey when I was about 10, and they were sponsored by Budweiser. Oh, and, and you were 10. Yeah, and I was 10, and mum and dad didn't want that, so I didn't see it much. <laughs> didn't see it, didn't come out of the wash much. Yeah, but it's a lovely jersey. I'm sporting a Hellas Verona jersey. It's their third kit from 2015. Nice. Got it on sale when they were doing crap in Syria, and now they're in Syria B, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird one. And weird one. Uh, classic Kinger. Champions League is back. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 3-2 win. You must have been happy. Win. I'm delighted. Happy. So I'm going to be repping the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Like if they win again, like we'll never see them. Every oh, episode we'll look I think it's every every week it's just the <coughs> Liverpool jersey. You're going to actually run out of Liverpool jerseys. Probably. My, also, my visual aids later on are based on Champions League and I'm going to be asking you two questions. All right. And For the answers are the visual aids. Okay. okay, so it's kind of a Champions League theme this week because the Champions League back, uh, of course, is, is amazing. Um, but Neymar, right? Neymar is a topic. Now I know last year he was injured, his World Cup, everyone was, was going on about yeah. him spending most time on the ground and stuff like that. It's just a kind of a bad image for him at the moment. But look, he sells, um, he's over there at PSG, they bought him for a lot of money. He obviously, he's, he's a huge big brand, but yeah. he's not really doing it on the football pitch. And that showed this week in the Champions League against Liverpool when he looked a little bit disinterested. He looked like he didn't want to be there. When he was on the ball, he spent too much time on the ball. He was very negative. He was average. He, he, he was below average. I mean, I know Mohamed Salah, you must have been upset with his performance the other day as well. He was poor. But Neymar, Neymar for a man of 222 million, a man who is bought for big occasions like that, yeah. a man who should be getting PSG or what they want to the Champions League final and in around that, yeah. that area, that was, that was poor. He's turning into someone that you don't want the generations coming behind you to lock up to. Yeah. Because, look, we cannot deny his skill. He is a fantastic player. But if you were to see him for the first time, Playing against Liverpool, you'd be like, "What the hell is about this yeah. guy?" Like, uh, people, like, I just, I don't understand the hype. The hype yeah. anymore. I, I think he's been shown up in the sense that it, he's he's confirmed that he needs uh, a massive group of players around him mm. to. But he to didn't. Beat he, that did, he didn't need it at Santos. Now there is no doubt in, about his his football ability. Like he has he has fantastic skill. Like even two years ago in the Champions League, where he kind of dragged Barcelona back against PSG. Do you know, like he do, he has that in him. He does, and his record for Brazil speaks for itself. Yeah, I mean, he well, has so many goals for Brazil. But that's the that's the big squad of Brazil. Yeah, so. but like, what's a big squad of PSG? You know, and I know, like, the other argument then is, you know, he plays in France. Why did he go to France? I mean, France is kind of like a isn't as good a league as mm. La Liga. Do you know, he has he has mm. stats and goals there, but there is no doubt in his ability. But here's my question: Do you think Neymar could do it in England? Now I know it's kind of an unfair question because everyone is different. But do you think Neymar could do it in England? Do it in if he changed his, yeah, if he changed his attitude. <laughs> I think he would be the most phenomenal indoor five-a-side player yeah. where, where you can't be slide tackle and you can't go in hard yeah. because he, he's got the feet, he's got the ability, he's got the speed, but he gets a touch and he's rolling mm. around the ground. And even after the World Cup this year, he had he signed up with a sponsor and they'd done an ad campaign about him getting it hard on the pitch. Like he, he just, I don't think he has it in his own head yeah. to go this is not normal to yeah. be rolling and falling over this much. Yeah. It's part of the game, but he just brings it to the extreme. I think, let's say, like out of football celebrities that were, do you know, you have the likes of the Cristiano Ronaldo, the David Beckham's being yeah. the original. Yeah. I think Neymar's going to have, he's going to have and star in his own kind of movie. Do you know, I think that's where he's going. The Hollywood type. The Hollywood like, type, yeah. you know. Vinnie Jones, but not as Vinnie Jones. Like, you could imagine us having the same kind of conversation about Messi if he was at the play acting and the diving and the Oh, you'd be so annoyed. Because you know he has that ability. Yeah, there, you know, you know he mean? has that ability. Yeah. So he's not taking it. Now, I, I understand since his injury, he hasn't been. He's kind of lost a yard a little bit. He's obviously still trying to find that. And he'll get that through a lot of game time. Yeah. Now, the World Cup didn't help. It's a huge tournament to come into. And now the Champions League as well. Um, but he will. I think he will come back to his best. But to be honest, at the moment, shouldn't be in the top three players in the world. People are considering him, obviously, number three in the world after Ronaldo and Messi. And to be honest, I'd have the likes of Suarez, Griezmann, you know, mm. there ahead of him. I Hazard Salah should be there ahead of him. What's helping him in a real cynical marketing kind of tool way is that he's a good looking lad. Yeah. And he's got the tats and he looks the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if he was a big, thick, 
Becker, who he was Wayne stood, Rooney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just destroyed. Like, I know it's it, well, yeah. it's an odd it's way fair. looking at it, but, but look, that's fair. It's easy to talk about a game week one of the Champions League as well, because of course every player is allowed yeah. to have their off day. So we'll see exactly what happens. How what? far are PSG going to get? Can I ask I a question across you? Yeah. Is it your year? I'm not. I'm never going to say that. Like, is it? That I'm, means yes. I'm yeah. <laughs> I think that means I, yes. I, I, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's happened in the last couple of years, but I don't remember a time when Liverpool won six wins from six in the it's, opening six games. Oh, oh, it's, it's amazing. Like, it's like, it's anyway, go off with the visual aids there. See what you have for us. So because it's Champions League, I've taken. I, I, I'm going to quiz you two. Okay. And I wanna, so you, you're, you're probably going to get it. You, you're going to yeah. 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 After <laughs> Eric last week. Now there's pressure now. Okay. So what I have here is my three answers are here. All right. Okay. And I'm not going to hold them up because you'll see them. All right. Okay, so okay. who has the most competition appearances in, in the Champions League? What player has more appearances than anyone else? I Do we get I, hints? I, I, I can give you a clue if you like. It's okay. a pretty good clue. Right? He's a goalkeeper. Oh. Oh, Buffon. Nope. Oh. Wait. Three. Two. Neuer. No. Wait, give me one more. <laughs> like, I want to say an English club. Casillas. Ah. Yes. yes. I was thinking, why was I thinking current players? I suppose he still plays for Porto. 172 yeah. appearances. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. fantastic. Thank right. you for the hint, by the way. I wouldn't have got right. that. Um, let me see. Who has scored in two finals for two different clubs? Who has scored in two finals for two different clubs? Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Real Madrid and Man United. Two out of <laughs> Now, this is, a, this is an interesting one, and I didn't know this. Uh, the only player to win three Champions Leagues. Clarence Seydorf. Oh my god. Yeah! What? What? Yeah. Yeah. Clarence <laughs> He's won three, champion, three Champions Leagues with three different teams. I would have never. No, no, I would have never forgotten. Ajax. It's not fair. Ajax. Ajax is one, AC Milan is the other, and Real Madrid is the other. Very good. Boom. The Oracle. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that now. <laughs> first one though, the first one I thought was the most difficult. <laughs> what can you do? I didn't even get to hear the rest of the question. Well, I think you forgot to set the timer, but I think that's about five I minutes. I did forget to set the timer, yeah, that is about five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching 303 for me this week. Um, maybe next week. I like that though, I like the idea of a yeah. quiz. That's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I won't be involved in the one next week. We'll see you <laughs> next week. Thank you for tuning in. It was the back three.